what's up y'all it's your girl go about coming at y'all to show y'all how i'm going to deep condition my hair i didn't come to y'all washing my hair because i washed my hair in the bathtub and honey let me tell you y'all youtubers that wash y'all hair in the shower kudos because that water was starting to get cold on my body girl i almost caught pneumonia yeah mm -mm, i'm not trying to catch no pneumonia for no video mm -mm. so i had to hop out the shower and finish my wash in the sink you know in the kitchen so because i can have the cold water on my head you know washing but the cold water running down my body after i didn't use up all the hot water mm -mm, mm -mm. y'all y'all go ahead with y'all bad stuff because it ain't me Anyways, I got this hot head hood. What this thing called? This is a heat cap from Hot Heads. I think it's called a Hot Head. Let me see if I got the paper cap. It's called a Hot Head. Yeah, that is what it's called, a Hot Head. And it's a thermal hair care heating cap. You just pull the put it in the microwave a couple of times, flip it over, put it in the microwave again until it get hot, and then you put it on your head. That way, it's kind of like a hair dryer, but it's a deep conditioning cap and you can walk around it with it on and stuff so i don't have to be stuck up under my hair dryer because i got a hooded dry in there and every time i deep condition my hair um i have to sit in one spot up under the dryer and try to occupy my time playing my games and stuff but this is supposed to prevent all that since it's mobile now it feels heavy like some weights in here or something I don't know what's inside of here. It ain't got no directions or, or ingredients or whatever in here. But it look like this on the inside like a towel. It look like a wash rag, girl. That's what it look like. So, um, this is the part that go in your hair, I believe. Because other than that, I believe it would be backwards. But, um, it got some little rock things in here it don't even say what's in here but whatever in here is heavy and i feel like it's gonna be heavy on my head but anyways i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna deep condition with and it came with some um plastic caps to put you gotta put the plastic cap on before you put that on so anyway i'm coming to y'all now my hair has already been washed let me put the camera down a little bit so y'all can see my hair um my hair already been washed and it's wet, semi-wet. I let it kind of dry a little bit. But let me go get this towel, girl. Let me go get this towel. And put this towel around my neck. I'm not going to edit that part out of the video anyway. Because I'm talking to y'all today. So y'all better be listening to me. You know, I ain't trying to be all perfect in my videos. I just want to be me. Me regular old gold mouth like I used to be. Okay? So... Since I'm feeling myself today and I'm feeling good, I'm going to keep it going, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys. I'm about to do a protein treatment. I just said, yeah, protein treatment. And I use Africa's Best Originals hair mayonnaise. And this is the protein conditioner, um, deep conditioner. Deep conditioner, I guess it's kind of like protein conditioner for weak and damaged hair. I also have this. This is an actual deep conditioner by Elastic QP Argan Oil Soy Deep Conditioner. I got that conditioner because Saddles don't sell this in the deep conditioner. So I just had to get the first deep conditioner that I could afford that was in that price range of the stuff I had to took back. So anyway. Now that I don't see all of that, I'm not using a comb as you guys know. You see my fingers. I'm just going to comb through it with my fingers. I'm going to finger comb it through. And I'm going to put, I'm I'm using both of these conditioners together, okay? I got the moisturizer conditioner right here, regular deep conditioner right here. And I have the hair mayonnaise too. Um, So which one I'm going to put on first, I guess it really don't matter. Um, This is my first time using the Argan. Not the organ, the Elastic QP. So, because I usually use the other one, smell good. It feel real good and thick too. So, I'm gonna use you know a little bit on that section. I done did my little ends first. Then I'm gonna go down up in here in my roots and get it all up in there in the roots. Now that's just the um. Elastic QP can. Now to give it a little boost of protein, 
Um, only reason I'm doing the protein is because usually I do the protein after I done been moisturizing it. I mean, bef I do it after I've been moisturizing for so long. And I ain't, you know, I ain't washed it or whatever. And I do a protein treatment. But I also do a protein treatment before I braid my hair up. Before I get my hair braided. Because I know it's going to sit there long. And plus it's going to be pulled on and stuff. So I do that um, before I, you know, braid it up. Just so it'll be good and braided up before I braid it up. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm doing both of these at the same time why you ain't gotta do it like this you could do one then wash it out and do the other one but i'm just avoiding really really i'm just avoiding a two-step process i'm just being lazy but that's how i do it every time when i do a deep conditioner sometimes i just do a protein treatment by itself but it don't need too much um It don't need too much of a protein treatment in it because it was already dry and lifeless. So I'm going to uh, just mix them together. So I have, I'll, you know, the best of both worlds all in one head at the same time. And um, when I when I get up here, I be seeing like some girls use like they relaxer brush, that little brush with the stick on it, and go between each section. But um, ain't nobody got time for all that. I just put my hands up in there and I work it through. Okay, it's gonna go in there either way and I'm not I don't have all day to be splitting parts open and going through like I'm putting relax in my hair you know it don't take all of that really it don't really don't take all of that to do no put nothing in your hair just slap it in there as long as you get it in there no matter how you get it in there as long as you get in there okay and then this is a little bit of the protein treatment get that up in there too okay don't be taking all day trying to do your hair. You just got you just take yourself through more extra steps. It already take us black folk a long time to shampoo and condition our hair anyway. So why make it hard on yourself? Make it easy on yourself and make it do what it do. Ain't nobody got all day to be trying to deep condition, moisturize, pre poo, shampoo, moisturize, condition, deep condition, leave in condition, blow dry. I mean like for real. For real. Don't you got other things to do? Like for real? Yeah, I got other things to do, like make some bunnets. <laughs> so, um, I am going to all this up now. It's up. So now that that section done, you see I did the first section. So now I'm going to go right on to the third section, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, y'all, so I got my hot head cap real nice and hot. It took me, you know, a couple of attempts. So once I get, once I get the hang of it, and how many minutes it ought to be, um, because it said do it in 45 second increments. Flip it over, and then flip it over again, and then do 45 minutes on that side. Not 45 minutes, girl. Not 45 minutes. 45 seconds. Second seconds. Okay. And then you just keep doing it like that until it get warm. So now it's nice and warm. I feel like a nice warm cup of coffee. You know, I'm just, I don't know what temperature is, but you ain't supposed to put this plastic cap on. It say make sure you cover your edges. All them edges need love, too. And then you just put it on. It's so heavy, y'all. I hope this thing don't get no headache. Okay, so now I just basically, okay, it got a real loose feel to it at first. I didn't feel like it was going to be snug. It feel like it's open right there. So, but once you push it. It's kind of on your head. Okay. Okay, it's nice and warm. Feel good. Okay. It's cute, too. Also, it says keep on for the 20, 20 to 30 minutes. Keep it on. So, I am going to Google. I am going to use my phone. And I'm going to go to Google. And tell Google... To set my time up for 20 minutes. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all know y'all could. Did y'all know y'all could do that? You know who I saw um do that? I saw Sweet Sparkle do that in her video. Shout out to Sweet Sparkle. That is my girl. Set my time up for 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes. Starting. Okay. That's all I got to do. I ain't got to go to my timer. I just tell Google what to do and it does it. So, stay tuned, man. Okay, y'all, so it's been 10 minutes, and I was just coming to tell y'all that it's still warm. Feel good. 
I'm actually enjoying it. But you know what I find that I can't do? Is move. Because I'm so used to sitting under my hooded dryer and sitting still that I got this on. I'm just like sitting here. Just like waiting for my hair to finish. So I'm kind of confused <laughs> right now because I never had a conditioning cap that I was just walking around the house and wait for my hair to uh, get conditioned. I mean, I've, I've had plastic bags and stuff that I've used, but I always sat under the dryer while I was deep conditioning. But deep conditioning with freedom, I've never done. So I'm still kind of forcefully sitting here stuck with nothing to do. So I'll be back. When it's over. <laughs> okay, it's been almost 30 minutes and I'm literally just sitting here. Like, like I'm under the dryer. Because my brain is not registering with, you know, I'm just sitting here playing on my phone like, I got six minutes. You see that? Six minutes I got left. So I think it done started to cool off now. It's not hot as it was. So, what I'm going to do is... I don't know why I didn't get up. I do not know why I did not get up. It just, I guess, my brain ain't registering to deep conditioning and sitting in one spot. <laughs> I mean, my brain is, you know, hooked on sitting in one spot. But the, 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 the ease of not having to sit in one spot is great. But why did I sit in one spot? I don't know. Anyway, girl, let me go rinse this out of my hair and then I'm going to be back to show you guys what my hair looks like. Oh, no. The the instructions say, take this off your head. Okay. My bad. The instructions say, take this off your head. Okay, it's nice and warm. And let it sit for five minutes. It said, let, you know, let it cool off. Let your hair cool off for five minutes. And then rinse Rinse your conditioner out with the cool water. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it sit for five minutes. Those last five minutes I got on the clock. And then I'm going to go rinse it out. And then I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I am back. My hair has been washed. Rinsed. My hair has been rinsed with cool water. And, you know, got my Erica Badu. I'm feeling myself with my towel. Um, This is my results well you can't see nothing because my hair is still pinned up <sighs> okay so this is a piece of my hair oh it feels real nice and soft it feels nice and soft just as, the same as it would have if i would have been under the hooded dryer i'm guessing and uh but the main difference is for me that you can actually move now my pros are with this bonnet it's pretty it's well constructed it, it's all of that when you look at it it's cute um you gotta put it that's 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 what i like about it it's cute what i don't like about it is i gotta keep being in the microwave flipping it, flipping it, flipping it until it get hot enough you know i just like to turn my dry on and get up under it okay that's a con now another con is um it's heavy so, it feel like I kind of got on like a helmet with some extra weight on it. It might weigh about two pounds, honestly. And I put it on top of my head and it's just sitting there. And I have a problem with, you know, having headaches and stuff. So, I don't like that about it. But what I do like about it is the ability to be able to move around where I want to go and doing what I want to do while I'm getting my hair deep conditioned all at the same time. So maybe it take me some getting used to as far as this goes. Um, but overall, I do like it. But I might have to use it a couple more times so I can give you, you know, another review on it and let you know let you know how I like it. But I don't, the, the number one thing I don't like is the weight on it, you know, because it got some weight. It's something inside of it. I don't know what it is, but it's like a bean bag on your head. Um, but I like it. But I don't like the weight. But it worked. It worked great, you know. Um, as far as deep conditioning, it did do that. So that's a plus. But now my next video, stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys how I dry my hair. Okay. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holla at y'all later. Bye.